as I stood on the podium and the national anthem was playing, medals on your neck, it was just insane. I started rowing when I was 13. I lived in training camps since then, since seventh grade. Uh, I remember my first year in Syracuse when I came here. I didn't have much of motivation to put myself in a position where I'm gonna fight to be in varsity eight or in top boats because I was very, very tired of rowing. I think being in such a big team and having coaches who truly, truly care for you. And at first I was like, wow, it's 50 girls and they still see you. They still see everyone as individuals, not as just a group of girls who are gonna help to achieve program results. I really loved it. It changed my rowing perspectives. I never experienced how it is to row in a healthy environment, how to do sports in a healthy environment. And my results were jumping really quickly each semester. When I would go back home, during summer my coaches would be like you keep changing and you come back so positive and what, what, what are you doing there and I was trying to explain how perfect for me Syracuse program is how it helps me so much to become faster and better person because it's just healthy for you as I was flying back home from NCAA championships I was looking through the window and I was thinking about what's going to happen this summer. I knew we did really well last year, but as we all know, each season is very different. The first step was to get into a final and that's when the game starts. I had something written on my back. It said, you can do it. If Martina gets tired or like loses confidence during the race, she looks at my back and she reminds her that we're here to win. It's just the mindset we had that we're going to do everything to get ourselves first to the finish line and we did it was a very very special moment for both of us we go off the start and we close we are dead last at 1k mark we're still six we can't believe what's going on i was so stressed i was making calls i was like we're moving we're moving we were not moving this is not real. We have to make this happen. We have to make this happen. And having this strong belief helped us to go so hard, even though I caught a crab when it was 300s left. I was like, there's nothing, nothing's just going right. And it's the most important race of my life, of my season, where I worked so hard for this. I was like, more and more, let's go, let's go, let's go. And we couldn't talk for the first, like probably five minutes because it was just so stressful. We were going sixth, we need to be at least fifth in that race. And then on the last probably like 15 strokes, we take Italy and we take Czech Republic. It felt like a miracle. It felt like someone just pushed us into the race. And I guess we did something really good.